you are watching Adjuster TV. Hey everybody, Max here with Adjuster TV. We're going to do a little afternoon update here on ECS. Uh, there's some developments that are very good for the Florida coast that we're going to go over. And uh, we're going to go a little bit into why this is evolving the way it is. But we still do have a hurricane category one. It is approaching Florida, set to make potential landfall within the next six to 12 hours on the east coast of Florida. Let's go over here to the satellite where we can see uh, what we refer to as an open swirl, meaning we see the swirl here. We see the you know cloud spinning into a central point. It's a low pressure system. It's still a hurricane, but it's void of convection or thunderstorm development. That's these kind of puffy clouds that you can see here. In a normal hurricane, these would be all wrapped around the center of circulation, and we would see these intense colors. If we go over here to infrared, we see some colors over here indicating cold thunderstorm tops, meaning big thunderstorm development. But over here where the center of circulation is, if we go back here, you can see there is a center of circulation and not much in the way of convection at all. It's all really displaced off over here. Um, so that is a good thing for Florida because this thing is not going to intensify at this rate. It is uh, completely, I mean, it's it's pretty much set to uh, set to weaken here. There's not a whole lot that's going to allow this to strengthen. And the reason why is because of something that we talked about in the last video update, um, shear, which is different winds going different speeds at different directions. Uh, that's something that tears hurricanes apart. Now, sometimes when a storm is stronger, it can fight it off quite a bit better. Uh, and we were kind of concerned with ECS when it came off Hispaniola, it really strengthened pretty rapidly. And if that trend had continued, it might've been able to fight this off a little better. But since the system uh, you know, was barely developing its inner core and might not have been completely vertically stacked, it was not able to do so. Anyways, enough technical you know, jargon and out of the way. It, basically, it means it's, it's weakened and it's not going to have a lot of chance to strengthen. We can see here that the track still takes it up the coast of Florida. Another thing is the track, since it is weaker, it's more and more likely to uh, go towards Florida as opposed to a few days ago when we were looking at it, it looked like it might stay out, you know, maybe a couple hundred miles off the coast and have more time over these really hot ocean temperatures to uh, go ahead and maybe do some additional strengthening. But now it looks like it's probably going to, it might come, might come completely inland if it keeps weakening. Um, if it stays a, a little on the strong side, meaning just barely category one, um, might ride up the coast. If it weakens to a tropical storm, it honestly may go just straight inland in Florida. We'll see. Basically, uh, the tracks are pretty well aligned right now, showing it scraping the coast and then still making that northward turn, but too little too late as far as uh, intensity, most likely. I would be very surprised to see this uh, really jump back to life at this point. And we can see here that the models agree with that. They actually initialize it as a tropical storm. It is still technically a hurricane still for now, but every single member has a weakening. We don't have any uh, outliers that shoot up and show additional growth or development. And based on its satellite presentation right now, I would uh, say that that is probably going to be pretty accurate. So always tricky with hurricanes. Some things that apply to some hurricanes don't to others. Some are able to fight shear and dry air better than others. Some, it just completely tears apart. And this is one of those situations. So good news for the coast of Florida. Still going to be dangerous surge. Still might get some uh, rain with this. The coast of Florida is really well equipped to handle hurricanes. So this is probably not going to do much of any wind damage. Um, so good news for Florida. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to respond. And Still do not let your guard down because we are just now starting to enter the peak of hurricane season. The fact that we've already had this many named storms, it's actually record breaking. This is the earliest we've been at an I storm because they go named alphabetically. This is the earliest we've gotten to an I storm. So we can uh, zoom out here. We do still have a disturbance way out there and uh, this tropical depression just off the coast of Africa. And if you were to be able to go further inland in Africa, you would see more storms pushing off out here into the ocean with very warm temperatures. So additional development over the next few weeks, uh, pretty much guaranteed as far as if they'll hit land, it's hard to say a lot of these will curve out and uh, go off to sea like this one, I believe here. You can see it's a uh, prog to go, uh, go out to sea, turn away. So should not have much of a threat here to the mainland from this disturbance, but we still do have a lot coming down the pike. 
So thank you guys very much for tuning in here. Stay tuned to Adjust Your TV. If any of these additional storms do form, we will have updates uh, going into the forecast, especially if it looks like, you know, we might get a major landfalling hurricane. We're going to be all over it. So anyways, stay safe, everybody. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend.